Welcome to PMPA's Final Cut of the Week, where we share important information you may have missed while you were making essential parts. I'm Kate Corella-Smith. And I'm Renee Merker. And this is what you need to know for the week ending May 26, 2023. According to the Federal Reserve, industrial production rose 0.5% in April after moving sideways the previous two months. Manufacturing increased 1%, bolstered by a strong gain in the output of motor vehicles and parts. Factory output, excluding motor vehicles and parts, increased 0.4 percent. At 103 percent of its 2017 average, total industrial production in April was 0.2 percent above its year earlier level. Capacity utilization edged up to 79.7 percent in April, a rate that is equal to its long run 1972 to 2022 average. AI has made its way to Capitol Hill. All throughout the month of May, various leaders from AI companies will be testifying before various Senate committees. ChatGPT's Sam Altman testified that AI has the potential to solve, quote, humanity's biggest challenges, unquote, but that government regulation is crucial to its future. AI is an interesting and exciting topic, but the real-world job displacing is questionable. We look at AI like we look at other forms of automation and believe they will amplify talent to increase the human use of human beings. According to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, unemployment rates were lower in April in 14 states and stable in 36 states and the District of Columbia. 16 states had jobless rate decreases from a year earlier, 10 states had increases, and 24 states and the district had little change. The national unemployment rate of 3.4 percent was little changed from March, but was 0.2 percentage point lower than in April 2022. Our take? If you are looking for doom and gloom, it is not in the current employment situation. PMPA's March 2023 Business Trends Report shows outlook for employment to improve or remain the same at 82% for the next three months. Robot sales in North American manufacturing increased 12%. This is a strong growth number for 2022, which is the second largest annual total in data available. Growth in robots installed in the automotive industry was 48%. Metal and machinery saw a 9% increase in 2022. We believe that with the increased adoption of robotic automation, the technology becomes better integrated. The more robots in service provides data to improve capabilities and makes vendors take notice and include more integration options as standard on new equipment. Planning for necessary raw materials and tooling is critical for meeting production schedules in our shops. On this week's Speaking of Precision podcast, Miles Free and Dave Wynn dive into the key reasons why managing critical spares is more important than ever. This podcast and our Speaking of Suppliers podcast can be found on major podcast platforms or on pmpa.org. Now it's time for our weekly tip. In cold worked steels, failures can be broadly nucleated by localized defects such as seams, pipe, and exogenous inclusions. The second are those which result from exceeding the strength of the material itself. To learn more about central bursts, chevroning and cold drawn extruded steels, go to pmpa.org's Knowledge Centers or Final Cut of the Week. And that's our take on what you need to know for the week ending May 26, 2023. For additional information and links about any of the topics discussed today, go to pmpa.org and click on Final Cut of the Week. Thanks for checking in, and we'll see you next Friday.